since we had to replace the uh, connecting rod on this engine, we got a new one. We need to install the new connecting rod to the piston. And so what I did is I took the, the retaining clip from here. And we'll just slide it through connecting rod like so. Make sure it's all the way in place. Now this particular piston doesn't have any indication on it. Some of them have an arrow that would point toward the, uh, the intake and the exhaust ports. This one doesn't have any such markings on it. So I can only guess at which way it's going to go. Take the ring and we'll make sure that the ring gets pushed back in place. There we go. Now the connecting rod is in place on the piston where it belongs. I've already inserted the new rings and um, before we insert the uh, piston into the block we need to make sure that these gaps in the rings are staggered and I usually stagger them about 180 degrees from each other so we'll put that one over there that one over there and then we'll leave that one in fact we'll leave that one here by this hole stagger the other two away from the hole so like so